Hiya, how you doing? I'm Whimsery, and today we're gonna be watching Airplane because last week we did the thing and it was just- It just keeps getting worse! <laughs> it, it was a lot, okay? And I need a break from that. I want something light and funny and y'all are telling me it's hilarious and I figure it's time to give it a go. So what I know about this movie is absolutely nothing other than the fact that it is a 1980 comedy and apparently it's super funny so I had it requested a bunch of times um so yeah we're gonna do that yeah and that's about it let's watch the movie oh it's rated PG I think it's before they had like PG-13 oh, that's spooky music not another one you guys better not have sounds like Jaws Are they making fun of Jaws okay Interesting. Oh, I like the music. <laughs> the white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers. Okay. No, the white zone is for loading. Don't start <laughs> up with your white zone shit again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got a problem here. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's who. And that. You want me to have an abortion. Oh, what a terrible driver. I'll be back in a minute. Why, sir, why did you park like that? He just ditches him. <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you kick? He's busy, okay. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Elaine. It's Ted. I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. I have been patient, and I've tried to help. Don't you feel anything for me at all anymore? This music. I can't live with the man I don't respect. Oof. Well, that was quite dramatic, wasn't it? What a pisser. <laughs> oh, wow. He, re he just broke through that wall, huh? Captain, over. Whacking material? Oh. One moment for your call from the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight. She's scheduled for a heart transplant. We found a donor an hour ago. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Why was there so much mayonnaise in there? I see what kind of movie this is gonna be. It's ridiculous, isn't it, huh? I promise I can change. You know, I haven't been able to get near a plane since the war. Oh. Different cities, different jobs, and not one of them shows you can accept any real responsibility. Oh. When I get back to Chicago. Chicago. I'm going to start my life all over again. The church of religious- Not now. <laughs> you know, sometimes, wouldn't it be nice if we could? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you tell me if Elaine Dickinson is on this flight? Oh yeah, she is on board. I'd like one ticket to Chicago. No baggage. Oh, he's gonna follow her? Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking. I don't know if she's gonna want that. <laughs> Literally. Oh, he's having flashbacks. Is he a PTSD maybe? Sam. Take TCB and Matt. Eh, that's not what they're saying. <laughs> oh, wait till she sees you. I don't think you're supposed to be there. She's trying to get over you. She's trying to leave you. It's still smoking. <laughs> Elnoa, you smoko. What language is that? Mm -mm. First time. She's cute. No, I've been nervous lots of times. <laughs> Taking things really literally here. Goodbye, darling. Send me one more. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> so dramatic. Oh. Roger. Huh? Request Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? That's unfortunate. So he just left that guy in the t in the taxi. I think it, he's a, he was a taxi driver. He just left that dude in there. He just left his taxi. So he really doesn't stay at his jobs. It looks like I see what she was talking about. You feel all right, sir? I haven't flown for a long time. Mm -hmm. That wasn't very reassuring. It's okay, girl. My cat is having a nightmare. I remember when we first met. I used to hang out at the Magumbo Bar. It was a rough place. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! By all means, step in, everybody. Those punching sounds. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's actually hard not to dance to this when it comes on. There she was. Oh, she's pretty. Big hair. I like it. Oh. <laughs> That's not dancing. Oh, it's love at first sight. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is that ridiculous? Good job, guys. That was some amazing dancing. <laughs> That's very impressive. These moves. It's like a mating dance or something. This is 
rather bizarre. They seem to be quite into it though. Whoa! Oh, there they go again. Supposed to be Girl Scouts? <sighs> I don't know what to think quite yet. I, I see though, this is not meant to be taken seriously. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh, they must have been there for hours. He's cleaning up. <gasps> That's romantic, huh? I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that. <gasps> eh. Ah, gee whiz. Gee whiz. That'd be swell. <laughs> Drinks, I run the job. What? I thought you'd might like some coffee. Oh. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, grown up little kids. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Wow. Very grown up little kids. I want to know what was going on with that floating old lady. Uh, it's a flashback when they were young and in love. Ugh. Jeez! You got seaweed all over you! What's the matter? He's got seaweed all over him. My squadron ships out tomorrow. When will you be back? I can't tell you that. It's classified. Oh my god. Oh, I seen something gross in the corner there. That didn't look very comfortable, though. Just saying. This is Captain Over, Mr. Murdoch, and Mr. Boston. Hi, Joey. Come on up here. You can see better. Oh. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That actually is him. Ooh, you've been found out. But just remember, my name is Roger Murdoch. Mm-hmm. Dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. Ooh, burn. You like movies about gladiators? He's got the weirdest questions for this kid. It'll be different, like it was in the beginning, remember? I remember everything. How I used to sit on your face. TMI, guys. You insist on living in the past. Mm. I mean, he's facing his fear for you, though. There is that. I think he's scared of being in planes in general. It looks like he has PTSD or something. Because of my mistake, six men didn't return from that raid. Oh, shoot. Lieutenant Zip died this morning. Oh, nice. <laughs> How about a break? I'm getting tired. Thanks. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was a, a painting. I thought that was a mural. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Startled me a little bit. Oh, and I have the whole world on a plane. <laughs> Could I borrow your guitar? I thought maybe I could cheer her up. Oh, <laughs> jeez! <laughs> I thought maybe you'd like to hear a song. I'd love to. Oh, cute. Oh, she can actually play. And I saw the <laughs> looking at me. Where did you come from? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cheesy. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> oh no! Nobody notices. Oh jeez. Hello! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I would not want to be on that plane right there. Bunch of weirdos. Oblivious weirdos. Yeah, after the war, Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. He switched seats. It was really a challenge introducing them to our Western culture. At first, they didn't know what to think of us. But soon we gain their trust. <laughs> no, no, it's a greeting. <laughs> it's time for us to go back home to the plans we made before the war. It was at that moment that I first realized Elaine had doubts about our relationship. And that led to my drinking problem. That is a drinking problem. Clear. Oh, it's my stomach. Mm. Yeah, some people get sick on planes. I don't really. Captain, one of the woman passengers is very sick. Find out if there's a doctor on board. Have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? Have you? Oh no. Ah. Oh. oh, that sucks. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? We have some passengers that are very sick. Could you come take a look? It appears he is a doctor. Very doctorly looking. Can't put my finger on it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Ma'am. Oh my gosh. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients. <laughs> oh gosh, what is going on here? Everybody's... They're dropping like flies. Everybody's getting the flu or something. Uh oh! Oh, not you too! Oh shoot. How soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean I'm just not sure. A 
work. <laughs> Not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? Oh my gosh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, what a mess. Nice save. What was it we had for dinner tonight? We had a choice, steak, fish. Oh no, okay. It's food poisoning. Relax and enjoy your flight, okay? Oh no, guys. We're in trouble. Jeez, what a mess. Do you know what he had for dinner? We both had fish. It's the fish. You're going down too. Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. Everyone's getting food poisoning on a plane. There are five more cases and they all had fish too. Oh no. Now we know what we're up against. You guys are screwed. Oh gosh. Oh, no, no, no! Not the pilots! Accompanied by uncontrollable flagellants. <laughs> it's happening! Oh jeez! You're going down. I don't think that's a... That's not a thing. Oh, literally, an automatic pilot. Captain Overs passed out on the floor and we've lost the co-pilot. Navigator 2, we're in terrible trouble. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. Oh. It's dropping fast. The automatic pilot, it's deflating. <laughs> the manual inflation nozzle. Pull it out and blow on it. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What the hell's going on up there? What's going on with you? Why'd they have to stick it there? <laughs> yeah, they're having a moment. That just looks wrong. <laughs> He's got one too. Wow, that was a very intimate moment they, they had just there. Elaine, you're a member of this crew. Can you face some unpleasant facts? No. No. <laughs> Is there anyone on board who can land this plane? Ah, oh, his drinking problem. Out of hand. The life of everyone on board depends upon just one thing. Finding someone back there who can not only fly this plane, but who didn't have fish for dinner. <laughs> that is a predicament. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? Oh my gosh, yeah! That's gonna cause instant panic. Yeah, it would just be chaos. Just what? Hello, I'm Paul Perry from the airline. I'm here to pick up Captain Kramer. Oh, we scared of dogs. That sounds so vicious. It's just a nice dog playing, though, if you actually look. He's got experience. Oh, no. Hello? Been a little problem in the cockpit. The know? cockpit? What is it? It's the little room in the front of the plane where the pilots sit. <laughs> Do you know anything about planes? Yes, he does. Well, I flew in the war, but it was years ago. I wouldn't know anything about it. Probably their best bet. <laughs> You'd really rather go that way? Setting yourself on fire? There's gotta be a better way. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> oh no. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Is that where that comes from? I've heard that before. It's an entirely different kind of flying. Altogether. Oh, it's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind, kind of, of flying. flying. Altogether. <laughs> You're the only one on this plane who can possibly fly it. You're the only chance we've got. That sucks. Yeah, he's gonna face his his fears. Yeah, because that autopilot is pretty useless. He can't land it, I guess. I want the kids in bed by night. I want the dog fed, the yard watered, and the gate locked. No more cheese. Oh, jeez. Just hangs up. <laughs> oh. Great driver. What the? This background. Oh, my gosh. 24,000 feet. You can do it. What are you doing here? You, you can't fly this plane. Mr. Stryker, this is the only hope we've got. Yikes. This must turn on the landing lights. Ooh. Oh, he is rusty. It's a completely different kind of plane. Mayday. Mayday, what the hell is that? That's the Russian New Year. You know we'll have a big parade. <laughs> no sense of urgency. Just, oh, oh my gosh, the sounds. The Reverend Moon. Jews for Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> so he's just hanging up on people. As you know, I flew with this man Stryker during the war. You'll have to talk him right down to the ground. <laughs> Is that a watermelon? You got this. Yes, Captain Kramer. What do you say you and I just forget about everything? Mm. Let's not kid each other, Kramer. You know I've never flown a bucket like this. No, never. Shit. <laughs> At the times, the way you can land this plane. He can hear you. You still avoid killing innocent people. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, he heard that. Confidence shattered. Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch out you don't make any violent control movements like you did in the fighter plane. It's <laughs> making it so much harder. All right, I'm going to level with you all. Don't. The most important thing now is that you remain calm. Yeah, sure. There's no reason to panic. 
<laughs> yeah, he's lying. No reason why you shouldn't have complete confidence in your chances to come out of this thing alive. <laughs> how did he get in there? A damn good thing he doesn't know how much I hate his guts. It's a damn good thing you don't know how much he hates your guts. <laughs> Dude! Well, <laughs> it's out now. Johnny, what can you make out of this? Well, I could make a cap, or a brooch, or a pterodactyl. Could you, um... Oh, this dude. What is that? There's some trouble on your husband's flight. Steve McCroskey thought you'd want to get down here right away. Yes, I'll be right down. It's a horse. Of course. Is that a horse? I think it's a horse. This is fine. <laughs> We're running out of time. Jack, I'm so hot, I'm burning up. Turn on some air. Oh, the window! That's a nap <laughs> in the window. <laughs> Don't even check the radar range. Anything yet? It's about two more minutes, Chief. What kind of plane is it? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes curtains in the window and wheels and it looks like a big tile and all i like him though i like that dude <laughs> jeez a whiskey man certainly not <laughs> hey it's not that bad kramer hears about this the shit's gonna hit the fan <laughs> jared there's a fire in the bar he's He's not all there, I think. I was crazy to think I could land this plane. You can try. I don't have what it takes. No, no, no. That won't do. Oh gosh, is she gonna try? I mean, at this point. Fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting <laughs> larger. Oh my gosh. He's a character. Oh. Taking turns in the bathroom. Everyone's sick. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if he's ever gonna make it in. <laughs> Save your breath. Done the best you could. I was in the war myself. The odds were against us up there, but we went in anyway. Excuse me, Doc. Oh, he's all inspired. I've got a plane to land. There you go. It's so cliche. Every minute counts. We've got to land now. I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? Foot's on the other hand. Me, John, big tree. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Why did they allow him there? What are you even doing there? It won't be long now. Try not to worry. Oh my. Very reassuring. Get that finger out of your ear. You don't know where <laughs> that finger's been. Dave! Ew! <laughs> where did you get that dress? It's awful! Rude! <laughs> Why does that look so weird? The life jackets are located under your seat. Oh my god, it's just one of those inflatable ducks. I'm putting the landing gear down now. You might get hurt up here. <sighs> well, she got hurt back there. I'm very proud. Oh. Maybe we ought to turn on the searchlights now. It's just what they'll be expecting us to do. Eh? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the striker, you're coming in too fast. I know, I know. Get in crash position. <laughs> Just kidding. He's coming right at us! Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's losing it. He's all sweaty. <laughs> Looking good! Oh no, no, no. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh gee, thanks. Oh, gross! Oh, man. <laughs> That's so much! A gallon of sweat. Why are you screaming? It's a twister! It's a twister! Yeah! I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Ted, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airport. <laughs> probably, yeah. I'd like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. Good job. I, I think everybody lived. I just want you to know that when the going got rough, <laughs> I was never happy as a child. Oh, <laughs> his life story. Nobody's listening. Best investment. <laughs> He's still going. Let it out. Oh, shoot. They're getting back together. Who would have thunk? I've heard this music before. I don't know if it's f originally from this or what. Oh my gosh! Autopilot's taking off! Okay, you got some company there! <laughs> oh my gosh! What a ridiculous movie! 
Okay, so that was funny. I see what you guys were saying. That is something different than what I'm used to, I guess. <laughs> All the characters. I like how there's like not one single like normal person, except I guess Elaine was kind of normal. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone was just ridiculous. Everyone took everything so literally. I don't know what kind of like humor you would call that. That's not, that's not anything like uh, like any show I watched, like I told you I watch mostly shows. I can't think of a single one that does mostly those. But speaking of shows, there's a scene in The Office where um, Michael Scott, if you're familiar with The Office, the boss in The Office is Michael Scott. He says, um, uh, and don't call me Shirley or whatever. I, I, I wonder if it's originally from this. That's that's hilarious. There was a lot that I recognized. I might be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'm gonna cut this out of my outro, right? Uh, but there's a guy in this that looks exactly like a younger version of a character in the show Breaking Bad. I'm gonna put it right here if it's actually him. That would be hilarious, because, um, yeah, because I actually know who this is, and that's the one person that I actually recognize. You wanna talk about that? Not particularly. Now I can say I've seen Airplane, and yeah, that was hilarious. Good recommendation. I appreciate you guys. I had fun. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time.